Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Spicy Burrito Channel and our Let's Struggle Through Skyrim playthrough. I am your humble host, the Burrito, and this lovely specimen right here is Who Turts McBoobs, and she is on her never ending quest to become the greatest one handed orc in all of Skyrim as well as the greatest chef in all of Skyrim. Let's see how she does. Now, we got a lot to get to. Uh, I'm going to mark the time here. And let's get going. Uh, off camera, I decided to, uh, I don't know, disenchant a couple things, pick, brew some more vegetable soup, uh, pick a few things in white run, and I bought a dwarven mace. That's our new weapon, a dwarven mace. It only does two more points of damage than the mace we were using, but it's an improvement. Now, when we last left off... Um, Oh, we can turn in the Book of Love quest. Let's go do that right now. Forgot about that. So let's head up to Dinya Baloo, the sex, the sex goddess of Mara. There she is, straight ahead. Lady, what is it you seek, my child? I helped the young lovers in Iverstead. How wonderful! Like the sea, their love roils and swells. But brings life and nourishment to all. I got something that swells. Uh, does Mara require more of me? I see you are eager to carry. Of course the she light. does. As you venture, Mara fills my mind ever more with visions of love in peril. Embers lie nestled in stone, needing only fuel to God. bloom a flame that will warm all around. You are so boring. Go to Markarth. There you'll find Calsomo. Wise, acid, and reclusive. Acid. Help him to emerge and state his intentions. This is the prayer heard by the goddess emerge. and relayed to her servants. Okay, got it. Help Calcimo's penis emerge from his robes. Got it. We gotta get Calcimo laid now, but that's in Markarth, which is way the fuck out there. It'll be a while before we get to that one. Okay. So let's go ahead and unclick the Book of Love. We don't... It's going to be a long time before that. Um, we want to do Loud and Clear, the next stage of the Thieves' Guild. Which is, go burn some beehives and clear out Erangoth safe at Golden Glow Estate. And that's what we're going to do. Oh, here comes a courier. Sorry, buddy. Closest place is Riften Stables for now. So let's fast travel out there. All right, Shadra, we did something for him. Any Let's go ahead and turn in his quest. Uh, you're no longer in debt with Sapphire there, buddy. Five, eight? You actually talked her into it? I don't know what to say. I didn't think anyone in Riften even cared what happened to me. All I hear is horses panting I in my ears. This, but I wanted you to have it. I thought I might need it if Sapphire came for me, but I don't need it anymore. Yeah, he gives us an extended invisibility potion. Big right, whoop. Oh god. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. A note from someone named Calselmo in Markarth. <laughs> Calselmo's really Looks horny. Like that's it. Got to go. Good day, friend. Jeez. Well. Everybody wants a piece of hooters. Uh yeah, Calselmo, we just got a quest with Calselmo, so he really wants our attention, but you know what? He's going to have to wait cuz we got bigger and better fish to fry. Honeybrew Meadery, or no, Golden Glow Estate is where we're headed. We gotta go do the Golden Blow job. There's the anus root. Oh, it respawned. Nice. The Golden Blow job. Can we get any um, sunlight here? What time is it? Let's wait 24. Can I get sunlight, please? Thank you. Much better. All right. I don't know what we're going to run into. Well, let's go ahead and discover this farm. I don't know what we're going to run I forget. I shouldn't say I don't know. I forget what we're going to run into on the way there. Heard but I know the dawn guard. since the Backfire great deletion of 2021, um, I, I know that this is a real tough... This the, There was a lot of struggle meter ticks on, on this uh, this mission we're about to embark on. 
Which means I'll probably pass it with flying colors. Golden blows out in the middle of uh, the lake here, so. Is that it? Or is that. That's Ripton. Okay, that's Golden bl Blow right there. Okay, so our backstory is we joined the Thieves Guild, but we're not a sneaky thief. We're not a especially sneaky thief. We're more of a beat them up and fucking steal their fucking shit thief. So, I got my backstory bases covered for all the fucking nerds out there. Like, well, you're not role playing. Well, I am. And that's how I'm going to play it, bitches. Okay, I want to... I think there's a wolf or something that's going to attack us here. Yeah. Let's get out, flame girl. Oh, it's a skeever. Got him. Let's search his shit. Oh, he's just got a skeever tail. And an anus root. And some blue mountain. Get out of the way. Blue mountain flower. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Field of view. Always. Got it. Let's quick save. Okay, this is going to be a brutal undertaking. Because I believe the first time I recorded this, uh, before I before the Great Deletion, I had like three or four deaths. So, it's going to be tough. We're just going to swim right up there. You know, they, they, they tell you to go talk to Vex and she'll show you where a... Uh, Secret entrance entrances in the fucking sewers. We Hooters doesn't fuck around in the sewers. Fuck that. We fucking kick ass, take names, loot, and the job is done. Then we can get to the celebratory sex. So let's just fucking swim right right on up. We got trusty flame girl going on here. Yes. Okay. All right, let me jam on the space bar here. We could just go right in, but let's kill the people outside first. And then here's the sewer entrance you're supposed to go into from over there. Um, yeah, let's take care of the outside people first. Time to end. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. Let me get. I got too many guys at once. Get out of here. Do your worst. I'll see you in pieces. That's it. That's all you've got. Quit blocking, you dick. I'm going to put you down. You don't have a chance. Jeez. Oh, wow. Now I remember why this was a struggle. In fact, this was the famous episode I wanted you guys to see so bad. Um, it was the fucking famous episode where I, I lost my cool and fucking blocked a guy for like 80 times in a row. Oh, it was so funny. And I won't be able to recreate it. I'll try. Alright, where are we at? Yeah. Oof, oof. Somebody's nailing with, with arrows here. Can we cast Flame Girl yet? Nope.
I'll see you in pieces. <laughs> Quit blocking, dick. There we go. <laughs> Quit blocking, you dick. Yeah, and now I remember totally. I, you know how I do that block bash. I, I got so frustrated with this asshole blocking me, and I died like three times in a row because of it. That I. <laughs> I just blocked and blocked and blocked and I was like, you like it, yeah. fucker? You know how... Whatever. Get out of the way. Now. You're damn straight it does. That's all you got. Lucky it. Oh, she's just leaving dead bodies all over the place. <laughs> See? Already better than Lydia. I won't miss Lydia ever. Now you're getting it from both ends. You're getting DP'd, buddy. Oh, we got more. Is that it? Have we fucking taken care of everybody out here? Holy shit, that was fun. Yeah, we want that. We want the key. Actually, well. Whew. I gotta take a minute, minute to gather my, get my bearings there. Alright. We just murdered the shit out of a bunch of fucking bandits or mercenaries. You guys are tough, man. They ain't no joke. And I didn't use uh, Berserker Rage. I'm kind of proud of myself there. Very proud of myself. Uh, why am I doing this? I should be doing this off camera. But it's, it's here. These are the beehives we're supposed to start on fire. We're going to wait because we're going to go inside and take care of the uh, safe first. Well, I'll take that bee. Zoom, zoom, zoom. So, I think that's everybody out here. Holy shit, that was a lot of action. Which I love. More. Oh, there is somebody still out here. Where are you, buddy? Oh, <laughs> he's running away. He doesn't want any piece of us. Oh, man. Rhoda! Rhoda! You bastard. Quit blocking. I cannot pass you. Shield to the fucking face. Oh, nice penis. <laughs> uh. Okay, is that everybody? Can we calm down? Can we rest? Can we save? Yes, we can. All right. Yeah, these guys don't have shit for loot. Um, how's my veggie soup? Oh, we leveled up. Points into more points into uh, magicka. Um. 
What is over here? Uh, that's a useless perk. That's useless because we're not using a bound bow. Okay, so we don't need anything in the there. Heavy armor, do we qualify? No. Block. We do qualify for something in block, don't we? Shield wall three. Let's get it. Let's go ahead and quick save. Um, let's refresh our veggie soup. And let's go kick some ass. Okay, this is going to be hairy. So I'm going to take a sip of Joe. And the commentary might be a little light in here. Because there's a lot of fucking shit going on in here. Oh, that's good, Joe. Okay, what door are we? Did we come in? This place is such a fucking maze for some reason. And there's locks all over the place. It was so fun doing this blind. And dying. That. Now it just seems like, eh. But. Gotta do what you gotta do when you're. Fucking dumbass deletes 10 episodes <laughs> on accident. Uh, I was so worried about storage space and I just fucking went crazy and started deleting shit. Like a fucking idiot. Ooh, that's a jackpot right there. Um, I'm not gonna be searching that shit. Uh, this is a. not a book. Okay. Not a skill book. Who's up first? God, I always get turned around in here. Let's check this knapsack. Okay, remind myself to grab those herbs. I don't know when it's all said and done. What the hell is going on? Okay, he's over there sitting down. So let's... Get him activated. It's this guy. Okay. You win. Hold on. Let me get Berserker Rage going. No. No. Damn you. I'll see you. This guy, he won't stop blocking. Apparently that's all I got. Wow. Hmm. Okay, that went better than you uh, last time. Uh, yeah, the fuckers just block and block and block. It's so annoying because you know you're going to kick their ass. Look at the trail of blood she leaves all over the place. And my flame girl actually killed somebody. One of them. All right, I am completely turned around. Don't know what's going on. Okay, so. There's Hooter's panting. So I couldn't re recreate that one. Yeah, I sat there and did this for like a, literally like two minutes. <laughs> I was like, fuck you, asshole. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You want a block? Fucking take this. Oh, and then I'll, I'll recreate it right now. And then after he died, I finally decided to kill him. I went like this. <laughs> Just to do it a couple more times. Well, lots of garlic, huh? Let's get their cilantro. Alright. God, that, that vegetable soup uh, pant is just so annoying sometimes. Alright, so I am completely turned around. Where do I go? Down here, maybe? Okay, this is the way we fucking came in. Jeez. 
There's like an extra hallway in here that just... I can never figure out. This is the way. No matter how many times I played this, I just can never figure out how this maze goes. Partly because I don't want to fucking concentrate. And I just want to whoop ass. I just want to rip ass. Whoa, there's tomatoes all over the place. Usually they're in this basket, but looks like somebody... Oh, when Flame Girl exploded, it probably... The shockwave came in here. Elven Gauntlets, okay. It's pretty cool. Not. <laughs> There's a tomato landed up on the shelf. Oh, I picked up a stupid plate. Oh, and I also quick, uh, quick hotkeyed my uh, potions of healing so I don't have to go into the menu to use them. Here's another lockpick. Lots of lockpicks. Lots of locks to pick. Okay, so I believe if we go down here, we got the choice to go upstairs or downstairs. We're going to go downstairs first. Another pick. Another pick job. Hootrits is a master lock picker because she, she's used to picking her butt. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, let's get Flame Girl ready. This vegetable soup still on, hot off the presses. Yep, another four minutes. Cool. Let's quick save and do it up. Ouch. This is what I trained for. Show me what Enough. Wow. I don't know what it is about uh, blocking. Like, I'll block like 8,000 times in a row. And they always seem to uh, pick the right time to swing their... They always pick the right time to swing their fucking um, weapon at me. Let's just get her ready. Or another one of her ready in case... Is there anybody else down here? I can't remember. I think there is. Let's back off because she's going to... Oh! <laughs> she's going to light the whole place on fire. You've already lost. That's the best you can do? You win. Textbook, by textbook, they're um, hot tits. Good job. See how much better she is than any follower? That should be it, if I remember correctly. Yep. Bunch of gold we can take. Probably a chest we can unlock. Oop, yoing. <laughs> Skyro should have a, a better sound effect for when you break lockpicks. It should be like... Oh, 
All right, the bill of sale. That's what we're here for. Let's uh, look at it. Let's read it up. Hmm, there's this funny little symbol at the top of it. Uh, this document acknowledges the sale of Golden Blow Estate and all the property and assets and materials contained within. Payment of the property has been made in full by Gollum I. As an agent on behalf of the buyer, all dealings with the Thieves Guild in Riften is to cease immediately. To deter any possible retribution for this act, you are to take immediate steps to protect our assets in any way you see fit. I think you'll find that the Thieves Guild is far more bark than bite and will likely avoid Golden Blow Estate rather than thin their already dwindling numbers. Good luck, and may, those start of, may this be the start of a long and lucrative partnership. But it's not signed by anybody except this... Uh, crazy symbol at the top spoiler alert and then this leads to the sewers that you can come in all right so we we got that done now we got to go upstairs and confront Erangoth. i think his name is the wood elf They didn't count on whoever sold this property, and they didn't count on the uh, Thieves Guild hiring Hooters. What the fuck? There's... There's somebody up here still. What was that? There's a couple people up here still. Light them up. Light them up. I'm not moving. chance. I know exactly what I'm doing. What an action-packed fucking episode. Lots of stuff going on here. We haven't made it upstairs yet. Where we're going, we don't need Berserker Rage. Uh-oh. She's just going to go right at him. Oh, okay. She, she, she expired. Let's get another one of her out there. Blocking again. Okay, someone's still alive. I cannot rest you. Nope, you can't. And it looks like uh, Flame Tits fucking beat the shit out of that guy before. I could. Look at the path of death and destruction she leaves in her wake. 
All right, I got to turn around in here, too. Jeez. <sighs> Worthless mercenaries. I didn't think Maven or Mercer would allow me to get away with this, but I... Hmm, I hear somebody talking, but I don't know where they are. Oh, we ain't gonna search all this. Where is he? Oh, in this door? Oh, here he is. Here's the wood elf. I'll take that. Worthless mercenaries. I didn't think Maven or Mercer would allow me to get away with this, but I had little choice. Okay, well, I just want the key to your safe there, buddy. I can't. If I do, I may as well cut my own throat. Okay. Well, we'll try the speech check, but I doubt it'll work. What makes you think I won't? I don't believe you. That's not your way. I ain't got a point. Actually, it's my way. Um, forget it. I'll just open it myself. No. I'm not about to let you ruin everything I've worked so hard for. <laughs> He's inside the wall. Little did he know, I think we already broke into the safe. You know, fine, fine clothes do sell for a good pretty penny, so if he's got any, we're taking them. Another lock? What is this, like the 15th lock in the episode? One, two, three lock box. <laughs> One, two, three lock box. Suckers walk, money talks. But it can't buy my three lock box. Ooh, he's got flowers on the shelf. We'll take your coin sack. That looks to be about it, huh? All right, let's go set some beehives on fire. Oh, there's a knapsack. Sammy Hagar. I should do... Um, ooh, lavender. And garlic bread. I believe those are baked potatoes, but they look more like garlic bread to me. How the fuck do I get out of here now? Just follow the quest marker, idiot. Suckers walk. Okay. It's telling me to go to the right. To the right. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Let me out of this maze. Hope you brought your pillow. Oh, wow. We got it pretty quick. Oh, man. We spent so much time in there. It's nighttime. The nighttime is the right time. This dude's got firewood. Let's go set some beehives on fire. Wretched little pests. me thinking burrito how are you gonna set these on fire if you don't have a fire enchantment or fire arrows or fire bows or whatever i'll tell you how let's just break out this uh torch here boom um this is the night time let's wait i gotta be able to see all right let's set three of these on fire one two Three. I should follow it up. Here comes two guys. Little do they know they're gonna fuck with a flame atronach in their face. Oh, I forgot to pop vegetable soup. What's going on? 
We'll take his Iron Mace out. We'll, we'll take it off. We can afford the carry weight. Where'd the other guy go? Did I kill him? I must have. Huh. I didn't think Foos Rodai would kill him, but he did fly quite a ways. I just don't... Where's his body? <laughs> oh, there he is. Sorry, buddy. Look at that. Rigor Mortis is already set in. Let's grab this Nern root so it shuts up. And the Anus root so it shuts up. That'd be funny if Anus root, like Nern root, makes a humming noise. If Anus root made a farting noise. <laughs> Alright, that's it. We've completed that quest. Where do we got to go now? Let's go back down to the Thieves Guild and turn it in. Alright, Mercer or Brynjolf? Brynjolf. Word on the street is Golden Glow's been hit. Hmm, I wonder Good who could have done that. Uh, yeah, and here's what's in the safe. Just a bill of sale. Let me take a look at what you found. Arengar sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? Uh, no idea there, Brynny. Last. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. Uh, good. It's about time I meet the bitch. Don't sound so eager. It's not a social visit. It's business. Alright, what does Maven want from me? That's between you and Maven. And I prefer to keep it that way. Don't worry about it. Maven's business dealings usually involve quite a bit of gold for her people. All right, speaking of which there, Brynjolf. <laughs> of course, your pay. <laughs> You're smart as a whiplash. Keep doing right by us, and there's plenty more where that came from. What's a whiplash? All right, how much did he give us? I didn't even look. We gotta speak to Maven Black Bitch. Um, let's go sell off. First of all, we want to talk to Delvin. We picked up some kind of trophy that he'll give us money for. So your Delvin, asshole. Brynjolf, I, let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the Of course, he's going to talk. He's a talker. Which way is up? Am I right? I know what I'm doing. to my face isn't going to win you any favors with me. I can promise you that. On the other hand... Taking some of these extra jobs off my hands. Now, that'll get you to the top of my list. <laughs> I suppose I could use some advice. Uh, not really, but... See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're going to get along nicely. So, if you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Well, my calendar's uh, booked, but... Oh god, this is gonna go down a rabbit hole. They're only letting me ask back on its feet? Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skeever instead. What happened? Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it you straight. Something out there is piss drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. You've been watching too many horror movies there, Delvin. Uh, what can we do about it? I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around out here. Put things back the way they were. That's where you come in. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. Well, you might smell like a rose. I smell like 
orc shit. I just ripped ass. Okay, um, can I sell you this queen bee statue? Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. Beauty? If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. There you go. This should cover it. A mutton cap for this Fine, tasty trinket? <laughs> okay, let's talk to... Welcome to so the Neil, yeah. If you're looking for extra work, talk to Vex or Delve. Usual guild rate. Let's take a look. Let's not. Let's put on our selling stuff. Xenathar. Thieves Guild Hood. Now if let's, you'll excuse me. Now we can talk Stick to, to Nilia. Take a look. That's it. Mm -hmm. We dumped out a little bit. Got lots of jobs available. Interesting? Nope. We've got a main job to do. And I've got a lot of hand jobs to do this afternoon. I'm booked up. Sorry, Dalvin. I'm booked up. I'm backed up. Whoa. I didn't see these tomatoes here before. Did everything respawn? Nope. Alright. I've got a few minutes, um, plenty of time. I want to do the uh, Louis Latrush thing. Where is it? No. Louis Latrush promises to keep. We got to do that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, boy. All right, is this is this Miss Valkeep? Yes, it is. Okay, we want to go in here. No, <laughs> it's the Temple of Mara. Oh, and we got to pick up the thieves' cash. I'll show you that too. So it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do the full Louis Latrush quest, but if I could get a little part of it done, um, in here is going to be the greatest speech check in all of Skyrim. Funniest speech check ever. This guy. What are you doing down here? It's fine. I'm allowed to be here. Oh, my mistake then. Sorry. You can go on ahead. <laughs> Just walk away. Yeah, dude. I love it. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. Uh, no, I'm allowed to be here. Okay, go ahead. go right ahead. Nice fucking guards there. This asshole. Sibby. Well. You a sight for sore eyes. Ooh. I've always got time for lovely ladies. Oh, you smooth talker, you. How about I uh, hop in that little bed of yours and we get it on? No, I was sent by Louis Latrush. Ah, and let me guess. He wants his horse. Well, that's going to be a bit of a problem. You see, I don't really outright own Frost. You don't own the horse you already sold to Latrush? That is correct. You see, Frost belongs to the Blackbriar estate. Technically, everything in the estate is owned by my mother, Maven. Well, my plan that, was to take the horse from our lodge and deliver it to Latrush at the stables. Obviously, that didn't exactly work out as I'd planned. Still, I don't want to cross Latrush. Tell you what. Steal the horse and deliver it, and you can have the second half of the payment. Um... You know, I bet Maven would pay me even more for this info. Sure, take advantage of the guy in jail. And we level up. Okay, fine, I can make the deal sweeter. I obviously don't have anything here, but there's a hidden stash in the lodge. And I did manage to hold on to the key. Take it. All right. Heard they're reforming the Dawn God. Vampire hunters are all right, so thieves caches. Let's do that. When you join the thieves guild, uh, three thief caches appear in Ripton, and they're full of jewels and all good so sorts of goodies. Yes, my lady. So let's go ahead and do that. If you know any true sons and daughters of Sky, tell us they have to win here. Stormcloak wants. That's the door I want. Is that guy dead? Oh no, he's just sleeping. 
That girl's dead. Ain't no doubt about it. Thieves guild this back. Nobody can sleep through a wang in the butthole. All right, three barrels show up with a bunch of goodies. Here's the first. Here's the first one. Ah, and they usually have an enchanted dagger and a jewel and some lockpicks and other goodies. So let's take all that. And saw pile. Nice. The next thief's cache is down below. Is this it? No. Nope. It's this one. Yep. All right. We could sell all this good goodies off. Protect yourself right. Buy armor from Grelka. Beautiful baubles. I don't know if I've introduced you guys to Grelka yet. She is a real cunt bag. Worst attitude in Skyrim. Why can't these people be more polite? The third thieves cache is right over here. Next to Honeyside. And boom. So, we sell all that off for a couple thousand gold. We're good to go. Alright. Uh, let me check here the time. 12 minutes. Can I do it in 12 minutes? I doubt it. Um, let's pass his speech check. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble? Uh, just passing through there. Yeah? Well, I got news for you. There's nothing to see here. Last thing the Black Briars need is some stranger sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Who are the Black Briars? The Black Briars have Riften in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back. So keep your nose out of their business. Me? Well, I'm, I'm Maul. I watch the streets for him. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Interesting. Dirt, huh? I'm not exactly clean myself. Then we're speaking the same language. Good. So what do you want to know? Uh, nothing. <laughs> See you later, Maul. seeing you around. Yep. So we passed it, but we didn't level it up. Let's talk to Maven. By the way, speaking of leveling up, let's go another Magicka. Block, we don't qualify. One-handed, do we qualify for anything in one-handed? 60. Bonebreaker 2, no. All right, that means um, either, either alchemy. Two or restoration. Hmm. I'd rather have alchemy at this point. Make those potions a little more costly. All right, we're cruising right along. Maven's right over here. So you're the one. Hmm. You don't look so impressive. Listen, you fucking cunt bag. Is that confidence I hear? Or is it arrogance? Strange how often they're confused. You have to understand. It's been a long time since Brynjolf sent me anyone I can rely on. You have no faith in Hooters McBoobs? Faith? I don't have faith in anyone. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. All right, you won't have that problem with me, toots. I hope not. This is an important job. I have a competitor called Hunting Brumidery that I want to put out of business. I also want to know how they managed to get the place up and running so quickly. Where do I begin? Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malus Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. Hmm. One all more time right. in case I wasn't clear. Oh, you shut up. This job and you will be so Malice, huh? We're going to fast travel off to the White Rift stables. Or Rift in stables. Yeah, I'm a bit behind. And I don't think I'll be able, ever be able to catch up because I'm 15 minutes behind. 
I uh, ended an episode 15 minutes early on accident. So I'm trying my best to catch up to get everything back on path, but it doesn't really matter. We do want to do the uh, promises to keep. So now we got to go steal Frost lineage papers. And that is that way. So let's go ahead and head there. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a walk. We'll get there, though. Yeah, so this is my third recording of the day. <laughs> Sunday morning, I woke up at 7.30 in the morning and just started recording, recording, recording. I got to catch up. I got to get back to where I was. I was having so much fun. And so, needless to say, you can. and I haven't edited any of the videos I've recorded, so I'm going to have a whole day of editing to do and shit like that. So, and on top of it, I'm at work. And work's going to suck this week. I can already tell. So, I'm just struggling sh through life. Much like I'm struggling through this playthrough. But that's just my luck. I, I should have known that was going to happen eventually. I would accidentally delete something that I wanted to keep. I just didn't think it would be seven fucking episodes. Or eight or whatever the fuck it was. Okay, I hear a bandit. Well, let's go ahead and pick a fight with these guys. Oh man, I don't have my armor on. <laughs> okay, let's let's get that on. <laughs> there I go again. Whoa, did she blow that guy away? Huh. I didn't plan on this. I didn't do this last time. I think I took the long way around to this place. Yeah. She must have blown that other guy away. Awesome. Just basically searching for uh, lockpicks and gold at this point. Until these guys start carrying better weaponry and armor. Let's struggle through life starring the burrito. Coming to theaters near you. Coming to YouTube near you. Anus root. Somebody's firing arrows. What the fuck? Okay, he's not a foe. I don't know what he is, but... Actually, he is a foe. <laughs> Look at him, he just let me walk up. I'm going to put you down! I love how we just, uh, Canis Root, we just, um, took a job from Maven Blackbird, and now we're gonna raid her fucking, uh, shack. So we're, uh, turning, is this guy fighting a fox? What a dumbass. Hey, buddy. A chicken. No, I shit you not, this guy was hunting a chicken. Quit blocking. Enough. Yeah, now you know how I feel, don't you fucking dick. Her lodge. We're gonna steal her lodge key. He was fighting a chicken. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, I love Skyrim. He chased the chicken all the way and cornered it. And then he couldn't even kill it. And then I come up behind him and smack him in the fucking ass. You got steel armor too, don't you? All right. Probably end up dropping that, but... There's a canis root over here too. Front door or back door? Let's go in the front door. Okay, I got five minutes. <laughs> Can I do this in five minutes? I doubt it. Is someone... you can't hide 
How many guys am I fighting here? Holy shit. Oh my god. Right at the end of the episode. I didn't realize there was like two other guys there. Holy shit. That sucked. Holy fuck did they... Yeah. I know it. Tell me about it. That's it. That's okay, so I one shot that guy, but the rest of them. Oh, Berserker Rage isn't ready yet. Jump on the bed. I cannot rest. Quit blocking. Anybody else want a piece of this? Look at that path of death and destruction. Wow. It only cost me one tick on the struggle meter. All right. I could actually... I could actually uh, pull this off, I think. I might go a little over and then I'll just edit out all that lock picking I did. Here we go. Horse, frost, sex, yes please, stallion. Color, mealy chestnut. Yeah, that's what, that's what they call me in real life. I gotta take that. A stallion. That's what the ladies call me. A stallion. I'll take things never said ever in the history of mankind for a thousand, Alex. Calling me a stallion. Now they have called me a mealy chestnut, though. I can attest to that. I ain't lying about that. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. We got YouTube time and space to beat here. Oh. Nice. Uh, I know I shouldn't do this, but let's go ahead and loot. Um, 25 pounds. I just wanted to see if they have any. Yes, they do. Herbs. Anything else worth any garlic on the table? Nope. One final lockpick. Sixteen gold, come on. Oh, well, this is the first guy I killed. Man, we're getting a lot of stuff here. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, I'm one minute over. Can I turn this into Louis Latrush? We got a steel frost. There he is. Perfect. I don't have to search him down. Let's get on him. Now, the only thing that's going to throw a kink into the plans here is if Louis Latrush is surrounded by enemies. <laughs> That might throw... I remember the first time I did this. Oh, man. It was nasty. I ended up killing an innocent civilian because... Well, you know. I was confronted by a hunter and a... Well, you don't know, but... I was trying to turn this into Louis Latrush. And I was confronted by a bunch of shit. Let's stay away from the pond because I think there's a bear over there. That we could trigger. Let's try to stay in the middle here. Where is he? Come on. Please tell me there's nobody around. Oh, fuck. I think I saw something. No? Alright. Alright. Over there, there's a hunter. They're hunting. 
You. Ha! You've Stop done it. it. Got to admit, I wasn't sure you could pull it off. But you've definitely earned your pay. Hey, don't you want to make this exchange? How? Yeah, I do. I see you, but I don't see Frost. Where the fuck did Come Frost... Come back when you have a horse with you. You gotta be kidding me. No sign of him. No sign of my horse either. Assholes. Go, run away, you turds. Over here. Where, well, now where did Louis go? It was so frustrating. Now Louis's in a fucking battle. Great. Oh, these assholes. Is it all clear now? Don't run away, Frost. Let's make the exchange. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'm going to Maven unless I leave here with Frost. You're playing a dangerous game, my friend. <laughs> Fine, you win. Take the horse and leave. Are you damn skippy? I will. I will, sir. And grab this random flame atronox, uh, fryer salts. Okay. I believe we've done everything. Let's fast travel to our next objective, which will be the Hunting Brew Meadery. And end the episode there. <laughs> you see, that's it's such a pain in the ass trying to get that quest turned in. I don't know why you have to meet him outside of Rift and why you can't just meet him in the fucking inn where you met him the first time. But such is life. God damn, what a struggle. Okay, looks like we got a glitch going on here. Um... Dude, it's 8-bit Skyrim. So. <laughs> um, that's it. We have wound down this episode. So I want to thank you all for watching the Spicy Burrito channel and Let's Struggle Through Skyrim playthrough. I am your humble host, The Burrito. This here is Who Turts McBoobs. And for the both of us, this is The Burrito signing off.